Okay, sir, so this is uh, Papa Jaro from Kilimanjaro Sound System. Big up Dan Sinclair from Reggae Vibe. Big up on Rudy Cooley and Dan Sinclair. Big up yourself, uh, Leila. Welcome, 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 people. Welcome, YouTubers, to another Dan Sinclair exclusive interviews. So go and big up yourself, Dan Sinclair, and big up yourself, and Rudy Cooley. Now, who we have here? None other than one of the greatest sound system owners in the history of sound business. So I am pleased and have the pleasure with manners and respect to introduce everybody to Mr. Harper from Kilimanjaro. How are you doing, sir? Respect, sir. It's a blessing. Uh, respect, respect. Now we're going to do this little quick fire interview and I'm just going to fire some questions at you and we're going to make it keep All right, I see if I can answer them. All right, all good. So, Mr. Harper, what, what inspired you to, um, to build a sound? Okay, um, when I was a youngster, still going to school, yeah. My brother had a sound system and then he decided to migrate to the UK. Okay. So shortly after that my father took it on and he was running it for a while. But it was too much for him because he had other stuff dealing with. Okay. And he decided to sell it. I was very upset, although I was young. Yeah. Cause I real was really taking on liking to it. And I made a solemn promise that when I graduate from school, I go and build my own. So, okay. And that's it. That that's exactly what I did. Okay. What 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 year was that? Um, well, I graduated from high school '69, and wow. then I started my own immediately. Okay. Okay. So, where did the name Kilimanjaro come from? Well, when I was going to school, I learned about Kilimanjaro mm -hmm. in Kenya. Okay, yeah. And this moon is actually the highest moon in Africa. And I was yeah. fascinated by it because um, I read up a lot about it and there's some spiritual connection between oh. Africa and Jamaica. Yeah, and definitely. I'm a person who always strives for excellence. Anything I do, I want it done proper. Yeah. And I said to myself, that moon is located in a kind of tropical region, yet the top of it is covered with snow all year round. Mm. So I think about the height of that as to the height that I can go in the business. Respect, respect. So, um, so what area is Kilimanjaro from? Kilimanjaro was born and bred in St. Andrew and we're still in St. Andrew. Okay. Then we leave St. Andrew. All right, nice, nice, nice. So, um, who, what was your first sound clash? Can you remember the first sound you, you clashed with? Well, the first sound clash, I think it was with a sound called Black Star. Okay. That sound no longer in existence. Yeah. But, can I tell you a little about that dance? Yeah. Um, that time we didn't have no real big artists on this sound working on the sound. Mm -hmm. um, one of my DJ at that time was a uh, young sir by the name of Ola okay. and it was quite good but mm -hmm. not as good as the big pros. Yeah. So people like ranking through and you grow and you should have guess appearance and so on. Yeah, yeah. So that night when we were playing with Black Star, they had um Brigadier playing a, a, and Tiger. At that time Tiger wasn't Tiger yet. Yeah. Um it, his name was Mark at that time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Mark and Brigadier was on Black Star, mm -hmm. and Rankin Trevor and Olad was on my son. Mm -hmm. So, we started off, Brigadier came and stand up on a mango tree and was listening to the two sound. Yeah. And at that certain time in the night, Brigadier just walked, come over our side, and Brigadier, Brigadier said, um, Danny was the name of the owner. Yeah. Danny, me and your friend, you know, <laughs> but tonight, I write that song with it. <laughs> and it, it, it flopped the other song because yeah. Briggie said, not nah, take on the loser. It's like Briggie declared the song. We know. Yeah. Yeah, before. Yeah. It was a real nice dance. And until this day, we have that recording on cassette. Ah, nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. So, um, 
Would you say that's one of your best dances or can you tell me about like one of your, your best dances, your best clashes up to Well, um, there are a, whole lot of, a real good dance because yeah. you know Kilimanjaro won a whole lot of clashes. Yeah. We have a whole heap of trophies. Mm -hmm. But um, there are a few that I would say um, stand out at the batch. Okay. And, I can start from way back. There was a sound from Waterhouse named Studio Mix, and that sound was kicking up rumpus in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And we called that sound, that, that was a serious class. <laughs> All right. Another one that stood out was Silver Hack. Silver mm -hmm. was doing very well. Yeah. Kilimanjaro cool him too. <laughs> and there was a particular dance that I remember Trooper did in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, Radigan was doing pretty good, yeah. David Radigan. Yeah. Radigan went to Miami and he killed a youngster over there and took over Miami. A guy by the name of Waggy Waggy T, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. So when Trooper go over there you now with our son, people look at us like an underdog because, you know, Radigan flag was waving so high. Mm. And Trooper fixing business at that point. <laughs> That was a, 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 a serious dance. Mm -hmm. Another one that I, I can't forget is when Addis came to Jamaica and was killing off all of the other sons. Yeah, I remember. And at the end of the day, um, they believed that they were, uh, you know, king now. Yeah. So some people tell them to listen. There's a look old sound named Kilimanjaro. You know, no king till you kill that sound. Mm. So they think it, you know, it was a waste of time. But after they come and book the date, and that was the biggest mistake they make in their life. <laughs> because that class turned out to be perhaps the biggest class ever in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. And it set them back bad, bad, because until this day they may recover. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that dance, I got that dance, I got that dance on Kessie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, big dance, big, big dance. So, Mr. Harper, what, what's the most important ingredients? What's, what's some of the most important things you need to be a great sound? What do you think? Well, I don't know if I have the formula to tell anybody, you know, but I can tell you a few little things that I do. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, when you, you know, making love plates, um, you can just record what the artist is going to sing for you. Mm -hmm. You take pen and paper and write down your thing. And you choose your, your rhythm wisely. Yeah. And then you and the artist work it out and take your time. Mm -hmm. Even if you have to re rehearse it a few times, to get it right. Yeah. But some sound man don't even have a clue about this thing because they send the money and give a man. And a man take it mm -hmm. and him do whatever he like. Yeah. And then get it back and it can help him. So that is as far as how I deal with the dog. Okay. The second part is that you need, if you're dealing with music, you, see, you, you must expose yourself to how music supposed to sound. Have an idea what instruments sound like. Okay. So that when your sound system <coughs> playing, people can appreciate it. It's not all about loudness. Yeah. I take quality very serious. Definitely. And that's one of the things we try and do over the years. Okay. Good. Okay, so what's um what, what sounds do you enjoy playing with? What, is, is there certain, any sounds that you like? If, um, if you had to pick and say, yeah, well, I'm gonna play this way. I don't have any. I wouldn't say I have any preference. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't name nobody. Okay. But um, if you have a reputation for a sound that don't have no beer band, you keep up your arms out. Yeah. I perhaps won't take no date with you because I don't stand for that. Okay. Alright, um, so, we're talking about dub. Um, do you have like maybe f like your top five specials that you cut over the years of, of Kilimanjaro? Um, well I could just say top five, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have some songs that the people have called antics. Yeah. When you go dance, you have to play them. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot, but there's one that stand up on top of all of that still. 
I just named this rock by the side. Then he has buried reasons. Jesus, yeah. God. If you go anywhere and don't play that song, the people will feel like you're listening. <laughs> For real. Yeah. For real, definitely. Um, so, if you had to start again as a sound man, would you do anything different as a sound owner? Um, I don't believe so, you know, because even somebody look at mistakes that they have to make over the years, mm -hmm. we define a way for some of them. Mm -hmm. So, um, the only thing I would like to say, you know, is the, the, the people them exercise more unity with them one another mm -hmm. and stop the arms of us because, you know, the old end years, um, the whole thing was just friendly rivalry. I have a sound system, you have a sound system. Yeah. We go inside at the dance hall and we play. We put on a show. So at the end of the day, we're still good friends and we deal with one another. Mm. Some other guys then take it too far. Yeah, true. I see that. I see that. So, so is that kind of like your view, or what is your view on these on 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 sound system in 2018, 17, going into 18? What is what is what is your your view? Well, you about the new it's kind of sad, you know, because um, when I was growing up, if a man have a sound system, mm -hmm. it's it, not a laptop he might have. He might have him records, he might have him equipment, mm -hmm. and when you say John Brown sound system, I come, you say a truck drive up and the equipment take off. Yeah. Everybody said he might have sound now, when you check it out, um, I would have said 75% of them have a laptop. Them have. Yeah, definitely. And I wish more people they have sound system, real sound system. Mm -hmm. And then it's like when you have a clash, you have a showcase two real sound. Yeah. You will see, you will see six sound on a poster, and next thing I want to one physical sound inside it. What I used to enjoy, you know, I take pride in over, over my sound. sound when I present that to the people. And if you're a son and you're a son and my son playing, um, when you start playing I come in, people are supposed to stay outside and know so I just rather start to play. When I start playing, you come in. They hear your distinct sound. Yeah. That don't happen again. Because one son set up in there, everybody come in with a laptop, the one of them saw the same way. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I see that. I see that. So, um, Mr. Harper, what, what, what countries has, has, has Jarrow played at? Well, um, that one you should have, you should have, you should have said the script come give me and then you make the list. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very long list. Yeah. And I, 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 I can't start that now and I'm not going to remember them. It's plenty. Okay. Is there anywhere that you, that you haven't been that you would be interested in playing? Um, what about that? Well, the country that I always wanted to go <laughs> was Kenya in Africa. That's mm -hmm. where my moment is. And I've been there, so I don't see the more country that I want to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Harper, do you have a message for any upcoming sounds or the sounds that are even still out there at the moment from Mr. Harper? Any advice you can give some upcoming sounds or anything like this? I don't know what I can tell them that they would accept you know, because everybody seems like they know it all. Mm -hmm. So I just leave it there, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a clear way of putting it, bro. Um, all right, so what I'm going to say is, on behalf of Don Sinclair and the Reggae Vibes and the YouTube channel, I'd just like to say, manners and respect and blessed love, and we'll thank you for your time on this Don Sinclair interview. It was a pleasure. And I come visit you one of these days in your real office. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do that. So people, there you have it. The great Mr. Noel Harper, Killer Manjara sound, one of the baddest sounds ever on the planet. Yeah? So from Don Sinclair, we're out of here. I'm your host today, Shawnee T. So I just want to say blessed love, people. Big up yourself, Don Sinclair, and big up yourself, I'm Ruli Cooley. Don Sinclair, Reggae Vibes interview, we're out of here. Bless. Boom!